video of me again outside, I'm trying to stay up. This time you can actually see my body movements. hard to keep my eyes open and my body balanced. And that is why I say if I push myself to stay up, I end up hurting myself. Because it's hard to keep the balance when you're so tired. Again, none of these are fake. None of these videos are fake. They're all real. But I'm just so tired I can't even look at because I can't concentrate. So I'm trying to keep my eyes up. So I don't know if that's from me being so tired. I just can't keep my balance. And my eyes open. But yeah. It's kind of tough keeping it keeping balanced and looking properly and that's why I don't have my makeup on or do any really care about what I look like just because it's just so hard to stay awake and I also do these videos not for you guys but I also do them for my neurologist and I do see them so if you can see so but whenever I close my eyes I always lose my balance and yeah that's why I go when I get to this point I know I have to go to bed, and I always try to eat before I go to bed, so, but yeah, it's just, it's just hard to stay awake. I tried drinking my coffee, and I tried energy drinks, I tried doing my physio exercises, I still do, I still clean when I can, I even spent some time with family today, but so I keep saying I can only do four hours a week, four hours sleep, four hours a week, four hours sleep. Because before when I slept ten hours, and then I'd be like this, and then I'd sleep another four hours, another four hours. So like it's almost 15, 16 hours that I end up sleeping in total. So it's very really difficult because I'm by, like, by myself, so with the cats and I have to look after them and I have to clean dishes and stuff like that so yeah it's just really frustrating and I think that's why I'm trying to do more videos so I can show how hard it is to keep my balance when I'm so tired and this is one reason why I don't go out as often as I used to, because I don't want to end up hurting myself. Ooh, but, yeah, I am trying to live around this, this way, so I could sleep four hours and then take my medication at the same time when I sleep. But, it's really difficult because most people are up all day and all night. I used to be able to stay up all day, all night, all night, but I can't do that anymore. So, for now, this is how it is until it goes away. The last time I've had this, and eventually it did go away on its own, so I'm hoping that, <laughs> that it will go
go on or something, but yeah, just my eyes just don't want to stay open if you want to go to sleep. So my body is really hard to balance because I'm falling asleep so much. And it's really hard to keep it straight. It always goes back, backwards or side to side. So yeah, we'll see if I'm going to go all just sit on Wednesday. But I'm gonna go eat and then take my meds and go to bed. And then I'm gonna be up within four hours. I already set my alarm clock to try to make it four hours so I'm not sleeping ten hours during the day. And then ten hours when I take a nap and then ten hours at night. I don't wanna keep getting into that routine because it's too much sleep, so that's why I say four hours. And it's usually around four hours. I get tired again where I can't keep my eyes up. So, yeah, it's extremely difficult, but at least I'm not sleeping 24 seven and I'm not blacking out anymore. I still don't push my eyes just to stay awake, but yeah, it's very, very, very difficult. So, that's, that's my update, and this is not caused by the vaccine. I know a lot of people think my shaking position is caused by the vaccine, but it's not. This condition was long before COVID, and it's almost been two, been over two years now, so. Sadly, it's just something that I have to learn to adjust to, and that's what I've been doing. Taking it one day at a time, not giving up, and being with my gaps. And that's how it is. <laughs> so, that's the update.